Two giant trailers are reportedly coming with Multiverse of Madness. Which ones? The best geek news. Hello, hello, it's Tuesday, episode 552, and I've got some great stuff for you today. We'll be the judge of that. No, I will. The long-awaited sequel to 2009's Avatar is slated to finally arrive in theaters by the end of the year, but a new report from the Transform claims the first teaser trailer for Avatar 2 will come with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, there's also rumblings that the first trailer for Thor Love and Thunder is going to be released alongside Multiverse of Madness as well, making an unskippable Marvel movie extra can't miss. Now, personally, I wouldn't really be surprised if they pull a No Way Home and use the Thor Love and Thunder trailer as the post credit scene to Multiverse of Madness. You're probably right. While we're on the subject of Thor, the anglers Jeff Snyder suggests Christian Bale returned for another round of additional photography as Gore the God Butcher last week, though there's no indication on how long Bale's reshoots should take or if they're already wrapped up. Either way, I don't really care. It's not our business. Today, Ilphonic released the announced trailer for Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. If you don't know, Ilphonic is behind the ridiculously fun Friday the 13th game and the moderately fun Predator Hunting Grounds game. Like those games before, Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed is an asymmetrical experience and will be a 1 versus 4 game, where you pick up a proton pack to play as a Ghostbuster, or you become the actual ghost and avoid being captured. The game is scheduled for a Q4 release this year, and both Ernie Hudson and Dan Aykroyd are returning to voice Winston and Ray, but apparently they couldn't snag Bill Murray for Peter Venkman. Bummer. LEGO Star Wars upcoming game The Skywalker Saga is set to release on April 5th and they've now revealed over 300 characters are in the game. And before you ask, I already took the liberty of checking, yes, Mando is in the game, although he's a part of the first DLC pack which is available at launch. This is the way. Yesterday rumors were making the rounds that Hugh Grant was in talks to play the new Doctor on Doctor Who, however, Mr. Grant himself took to Twitter last night to squash the rumors and said he's got no idea where the story came from. I don't know, maybe everyone just got confused about his new TV show Doctor Hugh. Like, what's his name? I, it's Doctor something, isn't it? It's Doctor... In wrestling news... Wrestling's not FAKE! Last night on Monday Night Raw, Kevin Owens faked the crowd out twice and got massive heat by playing Stone Cold's music and impersonating the rattlesnake himself, proving that Stone Cold's a really tough impersonation to pull off. Harder than it sounds, isn't it? <laughs> and now, a quick message to my loyal viewers who always stay to the end of the video. That's right, you, obviously. Daily Distraction is going to be taking a few days off to recalibrate in order to focus our attention on making a permanent move to YouTube, which is where you'll be able to watch the show in its entirety moving forward. More details to come next week, but I wanted to give everybody a heads up so you aren't thinking I've just pulled a Batman disappearing act on you. Where are you? Hope you enjoyed the show. Follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Like the video for support, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos.